The nose is one of the most important parts of the human body. Your nose happens to be a part of your respiratory system and performs several important jobs in the body. Your nose provides a sense of smell and filters death and allergens out of the air as you breathe. You see, without your nose, you would never be able to perceive the sweet smell of savory flowers or the inviting scents of your favorite meal simmering hot over the cooking gas. But apart from just being our tool for being able to smell things, the nose is also a very important component of beauty. You see, the shape of a person's nose goes a long way to determine just how good looking they are. While some people have wide noses, others have narrow noses, some have short noses, and yet others have long noses. But how long can a person's nose really be? How long is the longest nose that you have ever seen? Was it 3 inches? 4 inches? Uh, well, we are quite confident that no matter the length of the longest nose that you have ever seen is, it is not comparable to what we are about to show you. Because in this video, we will tell you about the man who had the longest nose in history. His name is Thomas Weathers. Thomas Weathers, who was also known as Thomas Whitehouse was an Englishman who was born in Yorkshire, England around 1730. Now very little is known about the early days of Thomas Wedders. It is not clear who his parents were or what the circumstances of his birth were. It is also not clear if he had any siblings with whom he spent his early days growing up as a child in England. As a matter of fact, there is no information about what school he attended or what jobs he did before climbing into the corridors of fame. What we do know is that Thomas Weathers gained worldwide recognition in the mid 18th century after news about him having the longest nose in the world began to be written and told. He was reported to have a nose measuring an incredible 19 centimeters or 7.5 inches. Wow. No other person in the history of this world has ever had a nose this long. Ever. And according to our findings, Thomas Weathers first rose to fame in his native town of Yorkshire after people discovered that he had a really long nose and began to talk about it. Eventually, he became really famous around the whole country as more and more people began to talk about him. And soon, newspapers began to write about Thomas Weathers. He was famed for having the globe's longest nose, a record that still stands today after all these years. Because of his unusually long nose, Thomas Weathers was seen as an extraordinary person in his day and people regarded him as some kind of strange human being. So he started getting invitations to display his long nose to people at different circus shows that were arranged around the country. Thomas Weathers, of course, accepted these invitations and soon he was a well-known performer in various circuit sideshows in England in the mid 18th century. The Yorkshire man was known for showcasing his record-breaking nose throughout the country. Many reports from this era show that Thomas Weathers was constantly performing at different circuit sideshows and that so many people came out to see the man with the longest nose in all of history. At the time, Different publications were fond of writing pieces on the size of Thomas Weathers' nose, but some of these publications also began to claim that Weathers was only good for showing off his long nose and that apart from that, he was 
virtually good for nothing else. One publication even claimed that the circus performer was not one of the smartest individuals and that he was in fact quite dumb. According to the Daily Star, an extract from the Strand magazine volume 11, which was released in 1896, described Thomas Weathers best. The extract goes like this, in quote, Thus, if noses were ever uniformly exact in representing the importance of the individual, this wardy ought to have amassed all the money in Treadneedle Street and conquered all Europe. For this prodigious nose of his was a compound of the acquisitive with the martial. But either his chin was too weak or his brow too low or nature had so exhausted herself in the task of giving this prodigy a nose as to altogether forget to endow him with brains. Or perhaps the nose crowded out this latter commodity. At all events, we are told this Yorkshire man expired, nose and all, as he had lived in a condition of mind best described as the most abject idiocy." End quote. This extract from The Strand magazine shows that Thomas Weathers was not highly thought of by some people in his day, and some people actually considered him to be quite dumb. But that's not important to us today. In any case, whether Thomas Weathers was a bright individual or whether he was very dumb, one thing that is clear is that he achieved huge fame in his time and he was a well-known traveler who traveled to different towns and cities to perform in circuit shows by showing off his long nose to the bewilderment of the crowds who came to watch him. The Guinness World Records website states that Thomas Weathers, who lived in England during the 1770s, was a member of a traveling circus. Today, the 18th century performer has forever been immortalized in different ways, including through the creation of a very impressive waxwork of his head. According to our findings, an impressive waxwork of Thomas Weathers' head has been produced. This waxwork is now located in Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in London and is actually one of the very frequently visited waxworks in the entire museum. As we have already mentioned, there is little known about this circus walker aside from his performances in circus sideshows in the mid 18th century and the fact that he had the longest nose in the world. So little is the information about him that it is not quite clear exactly when he died. However, it is thought that Thomas Weathers passed away in his place of birth in his early 50s, but the cause of his death remains unknown until today. Today, more than 250 years later, Thomas Weathers still holds the record for the longest nose ever with a measured length of 19 centimeters or 7.5 inches. As it stands, there are no indications that this record may ever be broken. Thomas Weathers' nose was so long that many people have asked if there was some kind of medical abnormality that could have contributed to making his nose push out like that. Now, this, this question has never been answered and it may never find the right answers. In recent times, the wax figure of Thomas Weathers, which is located at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in London, went viral on social media after a photo of the figure was shared online. As expected, many social media users who were seeing it for the very first time expressed their shock over the sheer size of this man's nose. Now, for the record, Thomas Weathers may have the longest nose in history, but there are other humans with long noses as well. As a matter of fact, the man with the longest nose in the world today is someone called Mehmet Ozurek, and he's from Turkey. Mehmet Ozurek's nose was uh, measured at about 8.8 centimeters in 2000, 
and 10. However, even though Mehmet's nose is remarkably long at 8.8 .8 centimeters, it is nowhere near the length of Thomas Wedders' nose, which, is, which was measured at an unbelievable 19 centimeters. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get more videos like this.